Test the mics out. You need the headphones on. Nah, nah. If you want to put headphones on, by all means, it's at your alleviation. Yeah, that's all right. I just press record whenever. I usually yeah, just the lights to come and say. Uh, mic's nice and close to mouth. Okay, cool. Check, check. Check, yeah, check, 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 one, two. You can pull it towards you or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mike, Mike, it's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you. I knew you <laughs> <laughs> Happy, first of all, how you been, man? I haven't seen you in, like, months. Yeah, it's been a minute. I'm good, man. I ain't seen you, yeah. Almost a year. Yeah, I was just yeah, <laughs> saying months. Yeah, definitely nearly a year. Yeah, Um, I brought you here today because I'm not going to lie to you. I wasn't going to interview artists at all yeah or just even have a one-to-one -one conversation but you are one of the people that i would ideally want to talk to regardless Respect. if it's artists or not yeah yeah besides that i feel like if i'm gonna talk to an artist who else would i talk to <laughs> <laughs> you and me have great rapport don't come we? come on oh you want me to put that are you too distracted oh you can yeah, read the I comments distract you're distracted i'm yeah. gonna put this away from you yeah just yeah, so put so that away see it's live it's streams live streams all right cool i'll put it in front of here yeah yeah but puppy damn these I'm actually like, yeah, you don't arms. know where to be <laughs> 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 now nah, but on a on a real basis look we met about three years ago time ago and obviously i just recently did a post on the album la rasta that we put it up i Big don't know up. if you saw it thank you but before we get into that i want to get into you a little bit pause metaphorically speaking yeah yeah there you go. major pause major pause <laughs> 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 uh, I'm live streaming. That's obviously the reason why I got these shades on. Yes, sir. Uh, that was, it's only going to live stream for 30 minutes. So right. don't worry. So, you oh. know, there's everyone's watching you right now. Well, how long is this for? It's for an hour. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can't swear, right? You could do whatever the hell you want. All right, cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll try it. to keep it. I was going to say, I'll keep it PG. <laughs> don't make me bleep it out. <laughs> you might uh, have to. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but on the reals, I actually do need to get to know you more because I feel like I got to know you on kind of moments when we were at mines and you do freestyles and you reflected yeah. a lot of like bars and i was like i didn't know this about you yeah, and obviously we always chat on the phone but yeah, 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 yeah. tell me a little bit of because you pretty much was at the beginning of all of this this pretty music much. scene yeah i do want to get into the music but personally how did you get even into mc in, in the first place um just the community people I'm, i was around growing up mm. um Music's always been part of my life. Mm. That is running my family. My sister was a singer, slash is a singer. Um, my brother is like an album vinyl collector. Mm. Deep history on hip hop. That's where I get my knowledge from. Um, he's also very well, He at the time, you know, it, we're talking early 90s, mid 90s. He was very well connected within the UK scene and just being around people, bro. People that I didn't even know were influential people in the scene i'm just a young kid in it um my parents had a a bar in baker street um what was that? la taverna it la was taverna. called la taverna and um they've had artists like paco de america gali galeano these colombian folk horse singers come and sing there when faustino Espria was playing for newcastle he'll go to the he'll hire out the la taverna oh, on nice. weekends if they were playing in london um so i've always been around that whole type of thing plus yeah. my uncles they um you know it's people that will know that there used to be a club called Cocorna back in the day so my, like this is when a room upstairs would just be for the kids <laughs> <laughs> you know and like just throw all the kids up there and then the people will rave it up and all of that so yeah man like um yeah it's just music's just been around me pretty much my whole since I can remember bro and how many albums have you made so far albums I've made two i've made one solo album called sudaka yeah. um, alongside morpheus i also did la raza which obviously you massive respect bro massive respect for okay. for jumping on board and following and you know correlating your vision with my vision and and putting that together um in terms of the documentary slash q a that's more of like a compilation album but that's me and morph you know Morph mm. produced the whole project i a and it got all the artists 20 artists nine tracks majority all uk latin based um, and then I've got uh, three mixtapes. I got a, a collective that I came into the game with called Street Souls, Almas Callejeras. Uh, yeah. uh, we got volume one and volume two of Smash and Grab. Uh, and then I released my first ever solo mixtape called Mike Check. Um, <laughs> and that was, I think, that's around 20 tracks. 
And uh, prior to all of that, I did, an, I did a mixtape called Time to Perfect. This was my first ever project. We're talking maybe around 18 years ago or more. Um, and El Genialista um, recorded yeah, yeah. my whole my whole project. So like, big up to El Genialista, um, OG in the game as well. So yeah, man, and everyone else that contributed in some way or form to any of my projects. So how many years has it been? Uh, musically? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say professionally, I'm gonna say professionally maybe 15. 15 maybe, years. maybe 15, maybe a little bit more, but like in terms of making music since I was over 20 years. Over 20 yeah. years. Yeah, I've been emceeing at school. Like I grew up in the era where grime was coming up mm. and you know, Pirate Radio, Mondays, Deja Vu, anyone that's a grime MC or grime fan will know, you know, eight till 10, roll deep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, eight till 10, nasty crew, 10 to, to midnight, roll deep. And uh, yeah, man, listening to Kano, DWE, um, uh, Getz, um, uh, yeah, Getz, you know, Wiley, um, and. But most the of your rest influence of those. basically comes when you were born here? I was born here. Um, you know, uh, Pero Colombia de Sangre. Yeah, Mi Sangre Latina, which mm. is obviously one of las clicas that are formed with a few other collective, uh, a few other rappers from London. Before I had Street Souls, it was Sangre Latina. Mm. Uh, that's when we performed at Carnaval del Pueblo. At the time, Carnaval del Pueblo was the biggest carnival in Europe, outdoor Latin festival in Europe, yeah. um, in Burgess Park. And uh, got to perform on the same stage as the uh, Hermanos Lebron, Salsa. Oh. Yeah. So that was my first ever performance. That was in front of around 40,000, 50,000 people. So, yeah. So, like, just to get that experience, I was like 17 years old. You were 17 at the yeah, time. Yeah, and we just we didn't even have actual music recorded. That's what kills it the most. We had I had never touched a professional studio. Oh damn! We just got put on the bill. Um, we caused a lot of a buzz, street buzz, battle rapping in Elephant and Castle outside the Chane Ministry of Salsa. <laughs> for the people that will know, back in the day, yeah, yeah, man, like we used to do a lot of battle rapping, um, Spanish and English, Spanglish. Um, yeah, man, just. I wanted to ask about that actually with the whole Spanish obviously we've touched about this time ago but you know taking a step back obviously in the doing the music stuff myself I'm not a musician I've just I'm just uh what'd you say an I'm a I'm an artist but I document your yeah, artistry yeah, yeah. um you're a painter bro I'm a painter oh look <laughs> you're making me blush you don't see how I feel right now <laughs> <laughs> um yeah no I was gonna say because obviously I've taken a step back I like your music I don't Thank like you. everyone's music because yeah. obviously some things taste. yes taste some people's touch other things yeah, yeah. but your Simple Pian Sao I like for me in my personal preference the way I see kind of you know how hip hop is every region has the kind of their own source or kind yeah. or genre and it feels like maybe here we are how, how would I say we're almost like a carbon copy of what's happening on the other side of the pond that happens a lot I always thought maybe un dia it might be more of a new genre that comes out of this land mm. you know what I'm saying because obviously like, we got your rap and yeah, yeah. Well, it was a bit like you know how grime mm. came about and grime's a UK thing when you think of grime you think UK drill mm to a certain extent if yeah uk a lot of you know the uk drill sound production wise you know everyone around the world kind of like really wants to um have that influence you know mm. drum patterns etc and same thing with gram you see how gram's taken over you got gram in japanese gram in mm. brazilian i know a few brazilian gram mcs you know who just who are just doing mad numbers you know um so in terms for us whether you be a reggaetonero or a hip hopero um, and you're coming from the UK, I think it's the way we're going to create our genre is just by remaining true to ourselves and um, being able to be a mirror mm. to our environment and reflect that through our music, you know, in, in, in term, in, instead of l mirroring what is happening across the pond or yeah. across the pond uh, in Spain or elsewhere in Europe, we have to kind of like look within ourselves and I guess it's like finding yourself and then you'll find your sound and then everything goes for you. And I think that's starting to happen now yeah. because we're starting to see a lot of so many artists, whether you like them or you don't, they are bringing their own original, you know, flavor. Yeah. yeah. So, and that's blossoming now, which is wicked. What's your ideal dream project? 
ideal dream po- project. Mm. I think that was La Raza, bro. Mm. I think that was my ideal dream project. And I'm so happy that I got to accomplish. A lot of my goals I managed to accomplish, man. Like, I'm so satisfied with life. I'm so <laughs> content within myself and in my skin. Like, I get a lot of people saying I should have done this or I should have blown or I should have be- had this amount of numbers of followers and rare, rare, rare. But I'm very content, you know. I'm very, I, I don't, I'm not. My, mi, mi petróleo no es el clout, yeah. you know, it's it's the feelings and the conversations that I have with people, you know, and the growth of the scene, you know, mm. when I came in, there was no scene, there was no industry, especially for hip hop pedos or underground or whatever, there was nothing like that whatsoever, like the Latin clubs wouldn't play reggaeton, you know, you have to big up people like DJ Padrino, DJ Gordo, you know, to a certain extent, DJ Gato, who came after, I believe, um, those guys were really the pioneers of, you know, the fusion, you know, dancehall, reggaeton, champeta, you know, big Mm. up to the people that were the owners of Guajando when they had Big Boy come down. That's when I got to see those artists perform. Groups like DGR, who were Medjo, Kiseno, so many different people that were, that, that, you know, they, they, for me, the, it's very important that we mention these names because those are pillars. Those are people that came before me in a sense, you know, yeah. in terms of taking the thing to a professional level and doing things professionally, you know. So mad respect, man. You know, I'm about giving flowers to people as much as people want to give. I had a conversation yesterday with somebody saying I should receive more flowers, but I told them I love receiving the flowers, but it's I don't do it for flowers. I, I'm more content just to see the growth because, like I said, I came into this game when there was no infrastructure you know and now we're doing reggaeton parties we're doing we're selling out we're bringing over artists underground artists like you know on the 11th of february there's a venezuelan hip-hop artist called jega um or gega don't know how to pronounce his name but he's a bad boy uh, venezuelan hip-hop artist who um is part of a group called uh, a collective called dojo 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 clan i believe um there's some venezolanos and um Son gente que se conectaron with acapella. So big up to acapella and to Kiko and that whole OB, OBG, oh, yeah, yeah. you know. So like, yeah, man, they're coming to perform here on the 11th of February. So um, keep an eye out for that on the socials. I've been promoting that as well. So that's that's the vibrations, man. Cool. Don't even know when this is coming out, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take the glasses off now. This is okay. this is now eye to eye. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm putting them away because I'm like, nah, bruv, I can't connect like this. <laughs> All right, let's get deep down into La Raza because this is pretty much, we got close before that, but I feel like La Raza got us close. So we've had a lot of banter. That yeah. was all done on the fly yeah. as well. But we, let's get knee deep into it because for me, Go for it, man. at the time period where I was doing my thing, I was doing quite a lot of music videos and obviously we started talking a lot. We bantered about <laughs> making music videos for this. Yeah. For this album. I wanted to. Yeah, I wanted yeah. To. It's just, it's difficult, isn't it? When you've got so many artists involved and time and everyone's doing things and all of these artists are established artists. Mm. You know, they're all established in their own fields um, and they're, they're doing their things you know some of them are touring you know for the for the documentary Desta French couldn't be present because she was touring, she was touring. Fluffy couldn't present because he was a, he was away um, you know Juanita was touring as well mm. Lolo MC so many so many people man that that couldn't be part Ray Nano um, Aicha I believe I'm pronouncing his name right French Mexican he was not in the country he was in Mexico touring so you know like it's a blessing bro it's a blessing to have those people to call upon you know what i mean no, no, you managed to get 20 people man. <laughs> bro it's respect man i put it yeah. down to respect and to the longevity and the fact that people know that you know again it's it's never about clout what we're doing mm. what we do is for the love of the culture mm. love of the community giving back to the community showing shining a light within our community and just showing the next people you know showing everyone what can happen when you just come together for for a good cause and mm. you put egos aside and you just make good music and that's what was made man so big up to every single artist that was on that project like every single one you, you all contributed to something beautiful like some of them might not see the flowers now but i know this the music that we create or anything i put my mind to i know it's timeless yeah. you know i know that might come across a bit arrogant but i know my my value and i know what i bring to the table and i know when i'm enfocado y super agresivo en el trabajo like we're not ramping bro we're not like you know we crack joke i crack joke a lot like, I'm a <laughs> yeah, practical you joker you know what i mean but when it comes to you could just ask my son like when it comes to realness and talking about okay this is how we have to be you know we have to we can crack joke but 
you know, my son plays football. So my son plays football and like, we were just having this conversation on the way here, mm. like where I'm telling him, you got to talk more on the pitch. You got to speak more. You got to, you got to be vocal. You know, people are not like, you can have all the talent in the world, but if you're not vocal, if you're not showing leadership, if you're not taking the initiative, you've got to take the initiative sometimes. You, sometimes you can't just wait around and esperar por la oportunidad, el que busca encuentra, isn't it? So claro. that's why you always have to be on the lookout. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm softening up. He's opening up slightly oh, more. Slowly, slowly. I know how he's like. <laughs> Seriously, when I, when your first time you see, oh, you I'm know what I'm going to say? No, I'm going to say the first time you we met, yeah, I think it was in fabric. Yes, it was. It was in fabric. Reggaeton I'm a, party. I'm a, Big I'm up a, to reggaeton party. Yeah. At reggaeton dot party dot uk. Go follow the number one reggaeton party in the UK. The originators. Yeah. Powers. Big up to Adrian and to Side Coco Mancia, Fabi, Ooh. DJ Suave. Um, big up to Tu Principe, my brother, um, and Alex Zambrano. You know. You know, Alex Zambrano? I don't even think it's no, Zambrano. Name. Zambrano, DJ Zambrano. Zambrano. Andres, Andres. Andres. Sorry, Andres. <laughs> they got so many names. I they know. That man called Eric, Paul. So many <laughs> names, man. Like, I'm confused, yeah? So big up to all the DJs that, that mess with us and that tour with us on a regular, man, because mm. those people, um, again, are doing small movements within the community that are going to be giant footprints in the future. 100%. You know, when people go back and look at the foundation, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. And big up to everyone else that's doing parties and representing the culture too, because it's powers. Politically correct. That's, that's what not you politically correct. Nah, I'm messing with you. Love, I know, I'm just trying to you tickle know what your mean? buttons. I just like, you can't tickle nothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the first time I met him, he, it was like this. It was literally like this. He was there in the corner. He had a, what, what was the little bottle that you had again? You always with was this. Was it Aguardiente? No, 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 no el otro, the, the wine. The Magnum. The Magnum. Yes. He had the Magnum Then he comes in, he walks in and he's like, was I smoking in the room? I think you might have been. <laughs> <laughs> but you definitely was leaning back forward. I ate with the Magnum. I think I was smoking. Suit. He was like, I know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Juan. Yeah. 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 Get comfortable, bro. <laughs> and I just you're remember you looking guy. at me, you're like. I'm like, who is this guy? Who's this guy? Who's he? Yeah. But to your credit, you came onto the mic, you... You went, oh, shut yeah, it down. Yeah, you went shut down. I was like, yeah, ooh, man. this that's, guy's that's energy is different. Is. Yeah, bro. I live for moments like that, you know. <laughs> I do, I do. It's so enjoyable. It's 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 a it's an experience I can't experience anywhere else. Mm. You know, because it's so much energy. You're taking in the energy of the crowd, the energy of the DJ, your own energy, people singing the songs, and you know, like it's just beautiful. You're watching the smiles, people having fun, beautiful women. Like what more the can vibes. you? Yeah, it's just it's just vibes. unbelievable, man. Like when you when you're just the vibes and the energy is really that's the source. Just to clarify one thing for you, oh, this might tickle your little fancy here. Um, I want to know the origination of this beautiful saying that you say every single time a party is going on. <laughs> I, I'm not allowed to say it, otherwise I get sued <laughs> by you. You know, there you was a time. No, I no, I give you permission to say it it's on like camera. Every time. <laughs> I know you want to say it. <laughs> there was a time we were on a boat party, yeah. right? And I kept coming up to you because you were about to MC. You were about yeah. to do your thing, about to build a oh, crowd. Yeah. And you were bare serious. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. before, like, give you a bit of context to the listeners. Like, before every show, whether I'm performing and spitting bars or whether I'm hosting, I, I fall into zen a mode. state, yeah, zen mode, and I just leave where I am. I'm mm. very antisocial. I'm very, um, I don't speak up because I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my energy mm. and I'm saving, conserving my energy, is it? Like conserving my energy just yeah, to just waiting that. for the yeah. moment when I touch stage, then I let go because I feel like if I start bantering, you're letting just, it go. Yeah. And, yeah. and when I will really need it, it won't be at 100. So I like to Hold Serve it, your energy for like 10 seconds. Yeah, right. yeah. I want you to say, I want you to power in deep channel down, and this is a moment right now. But I want you to say it as much as as you feel right now. This is a very famous saying. Whenever <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> can you give me one? Just for just for the one time. Oye, mi gente, estamos aquí presente en el Juan on Juan, 100% <laughs> representando my calle, Mr. Winey Wine. Oh! Vamos a pegarle duro. <laughs> if you didn't understand. If you, the whiny wine. Yes, it's the whiny wine. Like I, I go to Bristol, Birmingham, Newcastle, 
different cities and it's funny because they don't know me as Mike Kaji. They'll be like, Mr. Whiny Wine <laughs> or Mr. Reggaeton Party or like, yeah. And then it's like, you know, it's like, yeah, okay. So like for people that know me as the host, they know Whiny Wine. They, when they see me walk into the building, they know, okay. Yeah, Mr. Whiny Wine, Mr. Whiny Wine, we're gonna we're gonna party hard. He's downplaying this, by the way. I'm just letting you know. Because sometimes, <laughs> at some point, he has a Gatling gun for this thing. Like Whiny Wine, Whiny Wine, Whiny Wine, Whiny Wine. He yeah. goes in. I'm yeah. like, woo. Yeah, okay, okay. because there's levels, man. There's mm. it's 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 knowing your knowing the crowd. In it's a bit like a DJ. Yeah, you know when to play the bangers and when not to. That's you true, know, true. like you don't just come on stage and just say it straight out straight out the. You know, how did the, they even come up? How did you come up with that, brother? Was it just a that moment? was just that was just the. You know what it is, man. I come from. I grew up in carnival. I grew up ah. going to carnival from young, from when I was like seven, eight years old. I've been going to carnival with my older brother. My older brother's been taking me. I've been always around dance or music. Mm. You know, reggaeton in the very early days. You know, champeta, like you know, and you what's it called? It um, you know. Um, I'll remember their names, but like Los Artistas de Panama, like the originators of our culture and carnival, isn't it? Just like Caribbean flexes, just being around, you know, our people and listening to sound clashes and, mm. you know, from my brother showing me clashes of Rodigan against other DJs and sound sound systems and watching DVDs or videotape VHS videotapes <laughs> as it was back then of like um what was it um ah oh man yeah just all the clashes in Jamaica I can't remember the the, the name oh, I can't that's remember right. but, but, but yeah but yeah it's like yeah that's 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 I guess that's where it comes from bro mm. and cuz like I said like it's me so I'm an I'm influenced by everything around me, so I take bits of everything, so yeah. and just mix it all up. I wanted to ask about the collab you did with was it Skepta? Wiley, Wiley, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a Wiley collab. How did that happen? Similar. I've known Will for many, many years. He's uh, been recording with Morpheus hmm. for decades, and um, I just got the phone call. You just got the phone call. Yeah, like at the time, he was working very, very hard in the studio, um, Wiley, and uh, we were just chilling, really, bro, just bantering, cracking joke, never really did any music. Prior to me doing that song, we've known each other for close to eight, ten years. Okay. And then I just got the phone call one day, like, yo, Mike, I need you to come down to the studio, blood. I got one, bruv, I got one, ha ha. You know, you can imagine Will's just, we <laughs> <laughs> got to Wiley, and um, yeah, just went studio, and did what I did, man, Gosela, big up. And big up to Sarita Lorena, who also yeah. features on the song. She's a Brazilian native residing out in Holland. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful individual. Great spirit. Um, her energy is just contagious and she's so talented. So enough respect to to Sarita. What next project have you got going? If you're allowed to say. Um, I've got a single uh, being released on the 6th of March called La Gran Colombia featuring Mock from Venezuela and El Gangsta from Ecuador. Mm. And we got the video clip dropping on the same day at 9 p.m. on the 6th on of the March. 6th. So at 8.30 p.m. the track goes live on all social digital platforms. And then at 9 p.m. the video goes live on YouTube. So like, go follow my YouTube page at Mike Kaji. Um, and our promotion baby. M I K E K A double L E for the ones that don't know underscore dot <laughs> right I think I don't even I know, even just, know. Just, just YouTube <laughs> Mike Kaja you see my channel and it's premiered there for the 6th mm. of March I've got that single drop in then I've got another single drop in called No Games featuring Ocho Garcia oh, Broken nice. Pen and Don Jagger that's a nice fusion as well by the way both tunes La Gran Colombia and No Games is produced by Morpheus mixed and mastered by Morpheus so big up to Morph at MFU Media on the Instagram socials or Morpheus UK if you want to go follow up if you're an artist and you need studio time or you need somebody to mix your tunes or you need production or you just need guidance go hit on my brother Morpheus he's an OG and he's always always got time for the community um, so yeah I've got that coming out and then I've got a four track EP that I'll play for you later on when we're chilling okay um, I don't have a name for it at the moment that you was all, it. that was that was all produced by a producer called Jacko who got sent over from Colombia um, through a good friend of mine called Ivan Martinez of SF90 label, if I believe I'm saying it right. They're a label based in Bogota. Uh, two brothers, big up to Ivan Martinez. He tried to sign me to his label like 10 years ago. That's how I met him. Mm. And um, 
since then, instead of wanting to sign, I wanted to do a partnership and just like right. I hooked him up with Desta French, with Dukos. I believe Dukos met him when he went to Colombia. But yeah, man, there's so many things that we tried to do. And um, yeah, so I've got that four track EP coming out. And then I'm just working on maybe I might I'm trying to work on a reggaeton or maybe a dembo or Ooh. maybe a dance. So I don't know yet. I've got the idea. Got the idea. And we'll see what happens. Have you actually done a dembo? I don't think I've heard you nah. on a dembo. I freestyled over dembo, but I've never actually recorded a dembo song. Would you ever do some type of weird fusion between I'll do anything, Latin bro. house and dembo? I'll do whatever. If it feels right mm. and it can become me mm. and I don't have to switch up. This guy has freestyled over elevator music. I've made him do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just Trust to show me. him the levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were, there's really been many no sessions. Levels. There's been many sessions. Where I just decided to put you random just things. Just test me. I wanted to destroy yeah. you. <laughs> there's a video on my Insta of yeah? I think I think of us in your house going like you're testing me over some beats, oh, but that's just a, that's like an eight bitch. minute yeah. clip yeah. of two three hours. <laughs> you're going for hours and hours, yeah. and I'd be out here with a Spotify it's playlist like of... fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I almost got you once, but I don't remember. It was like I a, think it might have been the Jesus walks. Yeah, oh no, 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 no! That was crazy. Yeah, no, that was, I was good. Struggling, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't show it for shit. <laughs> Damn, I, I was gonna ask, like, who's your favorite of all the people you've worked with? Who's been your favorite artist you've worked with? So that I've worked with, yeah. Wow, man. Damn. Wow, I've worked with quite a lot of artists. Yeah, I don't know. My favorite. Well, like I would say the most impactful for you. The one that's left you with the best memory, the one that's left you with things to think about and probably even influenced you even. Boy. There's a lot of artists, bro. I made him think, you see. There's a lot of artists. Um, I'll do a top three. Well, w Wiley mm. will be up there. Just because of Bucket List, I grew up listening oh, okay. to Will. I'm from East London. You know, he's the godfather of Grime. They call me the godfather of the Latin hip hop scene. So it's mad that how that came about. Mm. And no one got paid in terms of like, I'm not paying for a feature, or paying for, like, you know what I mean? This yeah. is all organic. This is all done for the love. <laughs> um, um, who else? I'm going to say an artist called uh, Big Cakes. Big Cakes. Big Cakes. Name, so. Yeah, Big Cakes, AKA Mr. Kipling. Like my, my my brother, like that's that's a good friend of mine and an artist that I respect. I was listening to him before I even met him, as well. Um, so I've always been a fan of his. And I think an other artist that I haven't actually officially worked with, but we freestyled a lot. He lived in London for a bit and then he went back to Colombia. He's actually coming back to London on a holidays tour in the tour in Europe. He's got some shows in Holland and in Spain, and he's actually coming to London just. On a, on a vacation so he's going to link up with me uh, it's an artist that's called M33 and uh, he's he's dope he's dope Sebastian and I met him when he was living here in London and he didn't have nothing and then he moved back to Colombia because it didn't work out for him and he rebranded himself and reinvented himself mm. and now he's doing very good stuff and yeah man so those are the people that are, are I'll, I'll say. Well, big up to all of them, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Morpheus. <laughs> oh my God, Morph. Big Morph. Big Morph. Top five. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, top one. <laughs> my bad, Morph. <laughs> we still think about you every day. Every day. Big Morph. <laughs> I was going to say, you know what? It's been, old, I'm not going to lie. Yesterday, I was looking through my old music videos. And obviously, we've only got We've got one video together, and Did that's we? a Misala episode. Oh, snap, we've got two. G. Yeah, but you ain't sent me the track for that. Because it's never coming it's out. It's never coming out. <laughs> I've just got their files there away. I just recorded it because I was killing time. It was time on a whim. Day. It was on a whim. <laughs> <laughs> killing time for I was artists. like, Mike, jump on. <laughs> yeah, we was literally killing time for, bro, I'm not really, just do it, Mike. All right, cool. <laughs> that's how you know I'm a team player. Yeah, yeah, totally. You just did it for the band today. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, man, what was I going to say? I've been seeing a lot of artists, basically. And I'm just, as an observer, Go like, people it. are going managing now. Yeah. And that's the place to kind of be. And that's where dreams are coming true. It's the new Hollywood of Colombia. Would you ever see yourself going there at some point? Just even I've dabble? Been, I've been getting invited to go out there for the last five, six years. You know, I just haven't gone. 
You probably can't know. Because um, I don't feel like there's anything for me to do there at the moment. Mm. You know, I can obviously go there and network and maybe can go on this event. I can go on this show and radio and all of this but i want to go and i have something to present all oh, right and uh right. and uh and i you know we can you know create a mad fusion i want to go there and establish real connections and be able to do a trade-off with uk to columbia columbia to uk yeah because we know. need to build that bridge yeah definitely and i've been building that bridge for a while and i've been and not just me there's a lot of artists that are traveling now back and forth that are building that have been building that bridge for many many years mm. so this is just more more foundation, you know. All right. In your opinion, now we're gonna talk historical events. Oh. Oh shit. Well, not really too much historical events. Look. Just go for it. I'm gonna just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> At some point. What if I said I feel like you know said. who wants to be a millionaire when the lights dim down? <laughs> 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 right, here's the serious part of the conversation. I still got. And I phone a friend. <laughs> <laughs> <It's too political. laughs> uh, all right look there's a series of events that ended up happening the past three years i guess this is more when i was aware of things happening festivals happen <laughs> no so oh, bueno. Te estoy i'm getting boring you yeah no, no, <laughs> all right the series of events of festivals happening at some point it felt like we were on the up and up and i feel like it was three years ago i think and I'm going to just mention the name because it is what it is. It was the Latino Life Festival when it became the Latino Life Festival before it was something else. La Clave Fest. La Clave Fest, yeah. I'm not sure if you performed in that. I yeah, used you to did. host La Clave Fest. You used to host La Clave I've, Fest. I hosted the first Latino Fest, which was still called La Clave Fest. Okay. In Finsbury Park. Okay, first cool. One. Yeah. Now... This isn't really even me being judgmental of the festivals at this point. I'm trying not to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do me. Don't I'm give me that saying, look. Oh. Usually when someone says, this is not me trying to be judgmental, but you know those people. You know those people. <laughs> no, I can say even really about them. It was just more like at that moment when that festival happened, for me, because it was the first time experiencing it. Okay? I had a lot of artists. It was, I'm right. not laughing at your pain, by the way. I know. <laughs> Because you know the shit I went through. I'm, like, I'm going to be at peace. I'm, I've been at peace. Carry yeah. on. I'm at peace too. I'm sure I'm you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you're not. You're I agree not, with you. We've been on the phone for too long. <laughs> That's what, we've been on the phone for too He knows my life. <laughs> Anyhow. Go on. Peacefully talking. That was the best moment for yeah, me. Yeah. Don't you know? <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> this guy does not let me focus. Hashtag <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> That was a great moment for me. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. No, it was a learning curve. Yes. We need to learn to grow and all that of stuff. Course, the first course. festival, I didn't expect to see you there. You were balaclavered up. I remember oh, yeah. that. You, you showed up. I was very annoyed that day. Yes, you was. I was very annoyed because I was trying to get on the bill and I couldn't get onto the bill. Mm. I think they were wanting to go with um, a new direction. Mm. You know, from when I've been hosting that for like six, five years, consistently, consecutively and then not even getting a phone call mm. or not that i needed a phone call but i'm just saying for me how i felt i just felt a type of way because like you know i thought i thought man had built a a, a, a strong a strong rapport to be able to you know even if it's mike we're moving in a different direction we're not going to be using you this year and maybe for the foreseeable future all the best mm. big up enough respect because i can never say anything bad about them that's what kills it the most i could never or about you know the latin um latino life yeah, yeah because they did so much for me and they they provided me with platforms and gave me opportunities mm. you know so i'm forever grateful for that because that's part of my journey and part of my growth you get me regardless of whatever happened after you know Took the but, out of my mouth. you know what i mean but um but we're grown mm. and it's about knowing how to handle those situations and and that's when you find that's when you show maturity and you show who you really are mm. is when you deal with certain things and you don't agree with it and rare 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 and then you know then bag just on get, bag just, on yeah it. just yeah. keep keep it moving at the end of the day bro i never got into music to make friends anyway i don't need friends i've got my friends mm. you know the majority of the musicians that i know are conocidos are we friends yeah like i said <laughs> i ain't got no friends <laughs> I thought we were buddies, but no. <laughs> he used me for video work. <laughs> and that, that, that yeah, I can't out. even deny it. <laughs> Let's keep it a buck. 
<laughs> no, nah, but let's be real. Like, yeah. um, in terms of like, obviously, there's people that you build relationships with and you have great understanding with them, but they'll never be your friends, friend, friends. You I know, mean. like, are you that word friend just gets thrown away, thrown around to too easily because there's people that say this is my brody this is my bro and then six months later it's like that guy's a waste man he's a mm. snake bruv he's this he's that i'm like yeah but you guys were be best buddies and all of this so you know what i mean so I mean. like i'm very careful like you know i'm even careful of who i invite to my house you know or even to the studio I'm like, going I to your house like, today. I yeah, you are. But, like, <laughs> but okay. you're my friend. <laughs> got it on camera. I yes, got it on camera. Yes, yes. Just remember uh, this moment. <laughs> in six months' time, I'm going to be saying he's a waste, man. <laughs> Contradicting myself out here. But no. Nah, um, yeah, bro, it's just like, you know what I mean? Some people just take things too personal, man. We just mm. have to remove the personal from the business and just keep it moving, man. Yeah. It is what it is. I wish them nothing but the best. I see them doing great things for the community, whether you agree with it or you don't. It's whatever. Like, I, it doesn't stop me from doing what I'm doing. A lot of people thought, oh, no, he's not going to be hosting that. Mike, you should be hosting that. You should have hosted it last year. Oh, the, other, the, the host that they had was rubbish, man. You should have been, all right, cool, whatever. I always tell people, just write in the forums or write in the comments mm. that you want to see Mike Kaja back and then hold Hopefully by popular demand, I'll be back on. And if I'm not, then whatever. Because at the end of the day, I'm hosting reggaeton parties. I'm traveling around Europe. I'm up and down the country. I get paid to say whiny wine. You know what I mean? Make people have fun and feel great. You know, I put food on my son's table and he put clothes on his back and provide for him and my missus and myself. And yeah, man, like I'm living. I'm uh, life. The grind don't stop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I ain't got time to be feeling sorry. Like obviously there's moments when you can just take a moment to reflect and be like, rah, man, maybe we could have done this different or da 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 da. But it is what it is, bro. It's, it's, it is what it is. Like you, you, you do with what you, you make. Tú haces lo que puedes con lo que, con lo que tú tienes, it? Like, so, yeah, man, so. It is what it is, bro. I don't. I don't really give a fuck about none of that. Or I don't even watch them <clears throat> like that. Well, uh, or let me get or anyone point. else. <laughs> don't get me get angry now. <laughs> now let me get to my point. <laughs> oh, was that not a point? No. <laughs> <laughs> we were thinking I swear through. You, fantastic. No, you, you went into it. I'm just like, oh, I didn't know we we're gonna go this way, but sure. Okay. No, because my idea was I'm just basing this off my experience because I saw UK Latino music on the up and up after that festival. Second one came. It was okay. I don't think it was the same momentum as the first one. Yeah. Third but one. They don't have proper curators. Yeah. They don't have people that are creating the thing and doing it properly. Yeah. But I also take feel like everyone's to blame either way. You know what I mean? If you ain't got your, it's not your tags up. Organization, your, yeah. bro. And it's, uh, it's one of those things where I'm realizing, and this is just coming away from the festival now, that not everyone who is even Latin or even from the UK or any other places are aware of people's music. Maybe it's because we're living in a day and age where information is just fucking everywhere. And it's hard to sell your music nowadays. Yeah. Now, coming off of that, because that was like a momentum starter for me when I was like, shit, everyone's on it. I was getting bare clients, getting music videos and stuff. Like It, it felt like a flourish, like a big boom. Yeah. And then six months later, it starts going down. Because yeah. we have a period. Happened. Yeah, we have a period of summer that's where it's like happened. UK Latino. I've seen it happen. Yeah. When we were consistent with Street Souls, we were releasing two music videos every two months. Mm. you know one at the start one at the end of the month so there was even for that one month where i wasn't releasing music videos the music video that just came out at the start of the month is new yeah so that we were always constantly shout out to uk overstood one of the pioneers of uk music so many. yeah like this is before sb tvs link up oh, tvs yeah. you know what i mean uk overstood were the ones that were putting it on you know that's where you find the early days of k coke you know mm. what i mean like like real street music you know what I'm saying? And then big up Global Faction as well, because Global Faction gave us a platform to speak on um, on our rights and, and political and activist music, mm -hmm. you know, and made us, you know, like I was protesting outside the Colombian embassy when the when when those multinational companies were going into Los Campesino lands mm -hmm. and poisoning the water and ya no se puede pescar because the, the the food is just being contaminated, you know, and the people getting forced off their lands. And this is the Colombian government selling off private land that don't belong to them to multinational companies that are coming in. So we were really about this lifestyle and still are and frontlining. And, you know, for me, it's deeper than music. I don't I, I do music because I'm good at music, but I've always had a social awareness of wanting to help the community and help others against unrighteous individuals or 
collectives. We're going to the woke part of the podcast. Now. I'm just saying, bro. Yeah. I've, I'm all, and that word woke, I hate it. Oh, okay. Like, We're going like, for the. For I don't. The... No, I don't hate it. I don't hate anything. <laughs> I don't hate don't it. Hate I anything. just like it. Um, if you didn't know, actually, Mike Aye is a very spiritually yeah. awakened person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, I no. no. I didn't even mean that. <laughs> no, <I'm bad. laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> no, but on a real basis, the more I got to know you, obviously, beyond the music and all that stuff, you have helped me out a lot in regards to mental stability <laughs> as well. I hear you, bro. And you have guided me spiritually as well, which I did not expect. You know, and I appreciate that a lot about you. Come on, my it bro. just true bonds. Yeah, man. They flourish, and you've obviously like you've helped guide me in a in a terrain that I was unfamiliar with. Even though you knew I was gonna make my mistakes. Yeah. You knew already. And even though I knew you weren't listening. Uh huh. And you have to make that mistake to then take heed from what I was telling you in the first place. Bingo. Yeah, it happens, bro. And there's a famous saying you, say you tell me all the time. You. What's the famous saying you tell me all the time? You gotta learn to unlearn. Yeah, there's a lot of Woo! there's a lot of there's a lot of quotes out there that a lot of people use. Originator over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Originator. I may have stolen here. that from him every now and then. No, that's fine. No, I true. won't even mention in you. I was mentioning another quote, but I won't even go into that. Oh, is but it? there's many other quotes that I've said that I see a lot of people using that, you know, big up because I'm flattered. You're listening. Yeah. Even though you don't give me props and you don't wanna shout me out and whatnot, but you know, it is what it is. Part know. of the game. <laughs> it is. But that's the beauty yeah. of it though, bro, because I love it. Because mm. when we step into these venues and step into these rooms and step into these functions and come out and we're outside, you know, they have to show love. It's mm. nothing but love. Not that they have to show love, but it's nothing but love. Yeah. Because it's it's a respecting, you know. Sometimes I was telling I was saying this to I can't remember who I was saying it to, but there was a few days ago I was having this conversation where there's a lot of people that I don't like in the industry mm. that I don't even like their music, but I respect their grind and I respect their hustle and I salute it and I encourage it. Because at the end of the day they're doing positive moves for themselves to get uh, to be at a better financial place mm. to re remove themselves from the street life or to create businesses employing their friends and stuff like that so like man i i'm i'm all about the love and as long as that's love is the currency and we're moving on love that even if i don't agree with the vision listen it's your vision not mine mm. you know what i'm saying so do what you like i had conversations with you where i'm telling you bro you need to mind that the energies you're surrounding yourself with because these energies are just are leeches and they're sucking from you they're taking more from you than benefiting giving you stuff that's going to yeah. benefit you and like you said bro sometimes you have to unlearn well, you got to learn to unlearn. You know? <laughs> I'm almost just quoted yourself. I'm nearly, oh, just like, nearly. I almost got him. That little snippet would have been priceless. I would have, would have repeated that every day and be like, yo. <laughs> he needs to learn to unlearn again. <laughs> every time I'm on the phone to you, I swear to God, it becomes <laughs> a deep conversation, it isn't it? a deep conversation. <laughs> Do you know what? It's not just you. I know it's not just me. That's what I'm like. I wonder most how of many my convos that I have with my peoples, man. Like, and it, and it's a beauty, man, because to me, that's just that's 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 what's what solidifying that? what we are. Mm. You know, we have to have time for each other, man. Like, mm. not just for the aspect of making music, but the other field that's going to yeah. contribute to the whole picture. You know, you no, need a no. canvas to be able to paint. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's facts isn't it <laughs> you know what I'm saying so like some people it's just about playing position and knowing you know you're using different brushes mm. for different textures and different you know I can articulate this like you know what I'm saying like I know I what the listeners saying. know what I'm saying yeah, but like do. Um, but yeah man like sometimes you you know it's sabiendo como y cuando usar ciertas ciertas cositas que uno tenga a su disposal mm. Spanish style I got a question for you. <laughs> you think you'll ever live back at the homeland? Yeah, I think I will. Mm. But then, you know what I mean? Where's the homeland? I think I look at Earth mm. as my homeland, bro. Oh, you know, <laughs> real talk because like, you know, we're from everywhere, bro. Where our people, our roots are so mixed up. We're from everywhere, bro. Mm. We may have been born in certain places, but it doesn't mean that we're from, from there, you know? Like I've lived most of my life in England. England's not my home. Mm. You know, England's where I lay my head and reside. But you know, I think my home is will be somewhere hot. I think my the way I am 
and just as a human being I'm more happy in the sun than in you know grey Na- skies naturally <laughs> naturally you know I think a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> but I think a lot of people that come from exotic backgrounds or you know mas calmados Caesars like scented yeah but listen each to their own innit like, but me personally I see earth the whole earth as my home mother guy Pachamama, baby. Pachamama. Oh. You yeah, triggered man. me there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you did that. <laughs> you knew what to the, say. The spiritual what awakening right there, man. Damn. That's the spirit talking. When I had a spiritual enlightenment, he's the first guy I spoke to. And then he was all shamanistic. <laughs> Literally, I was just like, what is going on? How you does he know? How <laughs> does he know what I'm going through? All yeah. of this stuff. Without even you having to tell Heck, me. I he knew. even messaged me one time when yeah. I had a moment. And I'm just like, this guy just she yeah, said bro. Yeah. yeah, nah, but that's, bro, energy, man. Energy mm. never lies. Energy just multiplies. And when you can build a good rapport with people, man, that energy stays, and it's, it's it stays the test of time, bro. You know I me. Mean? You so. see, you see all of these bites I'm gonna get from <laughs> these little quotes. <laughs> okay. There's so many clips that's coming out. On this I'm just reading off my. Now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got them all here. Like. This far, <laughs> <laughs> this is coming in. He's a Latino J Cole. If actually you, so. you know what actually now yeah to be fair there is music like that that you have made because there's sometimes I've when done you music do music of all types you've done you've done music early music time. is very aggressive and very you know bully tactics mm. type of music like i was having this conversation big up to len lenny san pedro lenny lenin 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 yeah big him up i met him yesterday and uh, he was telling me why don't you get back into battle rapping i said oh, bro i'm not a battle rapper no more like for the mind state that I had when I first come into it, I came into it angry. Mm. I came into it wanting to disrespect everyone and just not giving a damn. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, now it's different. I'm more about let's create a platform for this and bring in people that want to do it and I'll mm. facilitate it or I'll help to facilitate it, you know, rather than wanting to be a battle rapper because I just don't feel that fire in mm. me to want to battle rap i gotta dislike you and have a personal issue with you to go at you and certain people know, <laughs> you know i'm not gonna say nothing <laughs> don't have to no, no, they know no <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah. i guess like time has given you a whole lot of wisdom to know yeah because i've learned about myself bro i was like i I was chatting to, bro, again, chatting to another young artist, 21 mm. year old that was coming up in the game, D Funds. I met him last oh, yeah. week and uh, yeah. I told him, bro, it's, sometimes it's okay to be, to not be okay. You know, it's fine. And when you're not okay, embrace it. Embrace your L's, your lessons, embrace your, your downfalls, you know, em- embrace them. Embrace it when you're struggling and you've really got everything against you and you feel like you're getting squashed and you can't embrace that because that's when you've got to enjoy the, 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 the journey even more because that's when you're going to show your real strength. Mm. Like I go back to me when I got pulled off from being the host of these things and a lot I see the scene flourishing and I'm no longer there. I'm not there. I'm not even getting booked as an artist. I haven't been booked as an artist on any Latin event, bro, in over the last four years. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm the godfather, <laughs> supposedly, you know? So I've come to terms with Ra, okay, what can I do? I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. At the end of the day, I'm a Latino. I'm a British Latino. And I'm a Latino raised in the UK. I'm not a Latino trying to be British. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm from this shit here. Like, we're from here. We put in work and I don't need to represent the Latin community because I am the Latin community, you know? So they got to represent me in a certain way to a certain point, I feel, because we've been here with the rest of the pioneers. So. Even though, even if I never get booked again, I'm fine with it because I know I can turn up anyway mm. and it's love and respect. Too shit. And, and yeah, man, I'm content, bro. I'm happy. Like, that's the most important thing. Like, I'm happy. I'm so feliz and, and uh, I feel like a lot of people are not happy. You know, they're searching for happiness and they're searching for it. They're searching for validation. They think the validation is going to give them the happiness that they're looking for. And I say that because I was that guy once upon a time, mm. you know. Um, but yeah, but it's all learning, isn't it? That's true. You learn and... And unlearn. 
<laughs> Damn right. Damn right. Yeah, man. If you were to say, hypothetically speaking, Godfather, Mr. Godfather himself, if you were to pass on a crown, a metaphorical crown, or a metaphorical mic, to say, who would you pass it on to? Don't know. You don't know? I haven't really... I've met many people that have little, that have similar f- attributes as mine, but mm. I haven't really met anyone that has that. There's only one guy that comes close, um, but I don't want to say his name because I don't want to put that type of pressure on him. Yeah. Oh, yeah to yeah. be honest with you. I don't want to, I don't want to like Clark cast that shadow. If you want, you can say his name to me, whisper it and I'll say it. To no, pressure. because that's, no, no, no <laughs> not doing that. we're not nah. doing that. But um, do you want me to say a name? Is that why you asked me this? Uh, you feel comfortable <laughs> saying that? I don't no, I feel comfortable. I just no, don't no. want to, like, I'll say somebody that, Gangster, when he did Wu Gang, mm. Wu Gang remix, mm. and he brought so many people together I hear that. that hadn't been seen before. Not even I had done something like that. Mm. So when I saw that, when I look at those type of projects and I'm like, oh, yeah, I like that. People like Kiko, mm. you know, that I see him working with artists in Colombia, in mm. Spain. He's connecting with the Europeans. He's moving correct and smart, you know. Um, so like those those thinking outside of the box movements is what stands out for me. That's what I look for. So that's what I respect as well. I got it, Alex. Oh. Big them up. Yeah, no, to be fair, big them up. Yeah, man, they're doing great work. I'm enjoying it. And it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but again, respect the hustle, respect mm. the hard work, respect the grind. Because a lot of people can say bad things about everyone, but that's just a reflection of yourself. You know, be happy, man, that people are doing it. And if you're not happy how they're doing it, then you go do it better. Mm-hmm. And if not, then keep your mouth shut, man. And just fall back and sit back at the back of the bus. Oh, you know, this this, this has just been pure wisdom. It is what it is. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got time to sugarcoat. That's what I feel as well. Good. A lot of people just sugarcoat everything and everyone wants to be friendly, friendly and mm. pally, pally. You and just got to cool, be real. Whatever. But at the same time, we got to be real as well. Like you got to be honest, you know. If something's not sounding right, you got to pull them up and tell them it's not sounding right, guys. You know? I never had that problem with you so far. I've always told you That's when far, you're yeah. like a piece of yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's and true. I've been real and I tell you I, things with love. It's true. It it's comes true. from a point of love. This is what I try to it's express true. to people. People <laughs> take things to heart. Yeah. And like, don't take it to heart, man. It's, it's with love that if I'm taking my time to vent to you or to tell you something, it's because I care. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not true. because I'm trying to damper you or put a pain on you or anything. You're hungry there, mate. <laughs> yeah, he is, he is. Son's getting hungry. Yeah, it's almost time. It's We're nearly done. We got five worry, minutes bro. left. Don't you worry Don't about a thing. Nando's. Cheeky Nando's for you. Come on. <laughs> He's paying anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> he always does this to me. He always plays a bit on me. <laughs> so his presence is his presence. That's it. Yeah. My favorite quote you did so far, because I don't want to even overshine that. It was like, take your L's. And then take you rephrased it as a lesson. So now I'm like, oh my. Yeah, man. Mm. Mm. Yeah, bro. Like, big up to La Nueva Era. Big up to oh, Da yeah, Vinci. Yeah, yeah. Big up to Esco. Big up to Heavy Fusion Records. My boy Luis. Um, big up to White Wolf, mm-hmm. big up to Desta French, Sophie Castillo, Milena Sanchez and Jessica. They're going to be at the Jazz Cafe. They're going to be doing, um, I don't even know if I'm going, I'll be real, but I'm just plugging it here because yeah. I love to see it. I got to host Desta French's headline show, her awesome. only UK show last year at Oslo Hackney. It was a beautiful experience. Big up to Desta French, Isus Milagros. The band was unbelievable. Big mm-hmm. up to Michael G., Dominican that's representing big up to Tato big up to everyone you know what I mean because I love to see so much diversity and so many sounds and fusions you know big up to UFS mm. you know what I'm saying big up to Voltaje Entertainment Noobs big up to yourself oh, big up to me. Patrick you know and yeah man like powers man ele- energies and blessings big up to your local Dre ah. you know, that's my broski mm-hmm. You know, big up to Decal with what he's doing with his radio show Voices. You got you know more in you. Come on, yeah, man. I'm just trying to big up everyone he because, like, yeah, blood. because, like, like this, this, this is what it is, bro. Like, join la position, kid your story. See, si. I should be giving the flowers as well, mm. you know, and letting them know that they're doing great things. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very excited, man. Like, I'm very, very excited for what 
this year and next year is going to bring and uh, yeah man energies man manifesting you get me have you got one more beautiful quote for me before I end this um, keep an eye out for a song called High Infinite <laughs> Power Healing Our People because that's what we push is hip hop ooh okay I'll let you lot decipher yeah. what I just said there say it one more time High Infinite Power Healing Our People that's what we represent hip hop mm. Papi Thank you for coming in. You see that? Powers. Sorry for being late. <laughs> You're paying. Never late. You're paying now. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get some cheeky nanas. Let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mike. Salud. Salud. In a bit. See? That was so easy, buddy. Really Look how serious this guy.